Hey, which one was you in before you came in? You was in G, I know you was in G. 100. You was in what? Yeah. My homie over there. Um, Big Puerto Rican? Yes. I, I thought they took with him. Real? Yeah. He's from uh, New, New York. York. Yeah. yeah. I, I got into it. Real? What? Over here, cut, bro. What? You told Bishaw that Abner is your boy. Right? Yeah, yeah. Does that compromise you were Abner's cover story? Can Were you able to explain to Bishaw how you would have known Abner or that Abner could have been your boy? Mm -mm. When it comes to like Bishaw, he's not going to question nothing I say. Nobody in this pot of question nothing I say. Charles, come on down. I was in the rec yard, and I see a kite pass underneath the door of the rec yard, and I picked it up. And it was like from B. Shaw. The kite stated, Hey, tell Abner, uh, your boy David said what's up. I was feeling a little confused, like, what the, what, what the, f it's just weird. Because remember, I don't know nobody here. That's my cover story. I ripped up the kite. Oh, B. Shaw! B. Shaw, look at B. Shaw back. So B. Shaw came back to the 100. That made me nervous, because he knows that I know David, and it's dangerous. <laughs> B-Shaw confirmed that David knows me. What the, what are you, are you stupid? I don't know you, you're a kinfolk, you're undercover. You just blatantly snitched on me. Billy, B-Shaw, and Tyrus, they were in the room talking. That's two kinfolks and a wood, very rare. So automatically I know it has to do with me. You can tell he's not, he not really with these I tried to tell you. You didn't believe me. I no, I believe you. I opened your eyes, but you still didn't believe me. I opened up, but I needed you. Know, no, when he told me, I was like, hey, man, I can't take my eyes off this. You gave me the other piece of the puzzle to where I was like, oh. Do you feel like your power's blocked? I wish I could be a for sure and say, no, it's not. It's not blown. But it's not the normal. I had to sleep with one eye open because I didn't want when someone went by to attack me. So before that even happens, I'm, I'm going to go home. And one thing about jail, you can always expect a fight to go down. Four gangbangers surrounded the cell and wouldn't let anybody in. Come on in, bro. Get caught, bro. Get caught. Go down there. Go down there, I had no idea what was happening. So I'm questioning, why are they not trying to stop this? My intention is just to tell them, hey, guys, stop. It's not worth it. Because if someone really gets hurt or someone dies, you're going to regret this. Really wasn't a fight, it was a beat down. That's not the time to interject. After Tebo looked at me, I'm like, yo, I was nervous. Stay out of my bed, bro. Watch your mouth. So I just needed to stay away and just like regroup myself. Bucci's becoming a target. I'm really fearful for Bucci. There's one girl in lockdown who I desperately want to help. Me and Jennifer asked the guard if we could help Sierra to take a shower. The moment that she got in the shower, she was so happy, but that did not last long. So the door opens and Sierra comes running out, gets on her belly and dives underneath the bars. So I dove on her and I grabbed her legs. I went downstairs and Rail was like, I saw what you did. 
I know what you are. I don't know if Rael was referencing to me being an assumed police officer or something different, but a normal inmate would never put their hands on another inmate. I drew attention to myself. Officer McNair. There was already so much suspicion, but now they know I'm a cop. Everybody lines up at the door, the door open. But I didn't grab my stuff. My bag I left in the cell. Kenzie closed it. Kenzie, sorry. 600, what's the emergency? This is 07 trying to get out of his room, man. That, why, why did he come out when Mackenzie was in there? Somebody asked him to shut the door. Ask, somebody asked him to shut the door on him. OK, I'll send Mr. Mackenzie to let him out. What did he say? He uh, said, I'll send the officer in and close the door on him. Thinking like, don't say nothing to him, don't say nothing to him, but I was like, man, I gotta say something to him. I gotta let him know how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, just give him peace in my mind, you know what I'm saying? But that, yo, that's a, that some sucker ass no, for real, man. Nah, nah, Why you gonna lock me in there for? You need to make sure you're ready, sir. Only a new ass like you do that. Hey, sir, I did let you know. I didn't have to let you know. Man, you a new way. Hey, Todd, we get 607. I had to get whatever was on my mind. I had to get off my chest and let him know how I felt. Last thing on my mind was getting into it with a CEO. Hey, Todd, I didn't come back out till it was time to eat dinner, so it must, it must have been like 6.37. I shut the door, which locks automatically. He comes over and make a point to unlock the door with his key. Usually they unlock it from the, unlock it from the control thing. Like, maybe he wants me to go back in my room and get my food. But I'm like, I'm like, dang, he went, nah, he wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't make me go in and eat, eat my food and everything. Up now. What's name? American Horror Story coming out. Oh, tonight. damn, you're right. This is the last episode. Go ahead and grab that remote. Go watch that. Grab your little front row seat. Chuckles, he's the power boss. He ran in there like control the remote. Shekels would take the remote upstairs to his room and keep it in his pants and stuff. And it's like, dude, you trip over a remote. I'm getting sick of him. Like, it's just building up to that point to where like, I'm taking the remote. Hey, what, what? I'm not a kid, man. Man, let me get the remote, why, why?
What's the other thing? Some people want to say something, I can tell. Dion comes from the streets. He has no problem going up against veteran inmates. But these are inmates. The more you push them, the more they're going to push back. I had it for like four or five hours, so I think everybody would be like, okay, you know, he cool. You let him see the remote. Nah, he, he switched him out. He said, did I know what he did? I feel like I'm up in Trump or something. That I had for five days, hit strong in the morning. You guys heard it. I hear it. It was like at three in the morning. I was knocked out, and next thing I heard, boom, 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 boom. Shekels was just whooping his ass in that shower, and it was its kind of scary. Cause I was like, I regret taking over Mo from Shekels. I could have actually been the one who got stumped out.